there is another Photoshop challenge going on on YouTube. This time it's being hosted by Nemanja and this one is all about UFOs. I'm all for it. Um, I am usually mainly a, uh, a space artist. So uh, this kind of goes right up my alley. I'm really excited to do this. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin and come along while I create what's hopefully gonna be an awesome space piece and um, get ready for this contest. But before I do that, I gotta say, number one, thank you guys so, so, so much. Uh, in my last video, which was actually a phase runner competition, um, I told you guys that I really would love to be able to try and get to the point where I can do art full time. And it's, it's always been a dream of mine. And I'd like to try and make that a reality. And you guys really came through. Um, I asked you guys to subscribe and so many of you did. So thank you guys so much that amount of support and between the subscriptions and the comments that you guys left on that video was incredible. So thank you guys so much, but I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive into Photoshop. Subscribe if you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up as well. Let's go. So here's my idea. My idea for what I want to do with this is um, I've got the three different UFOs that he provided. Um, I'm actually going to take these images here and create Earth. Uh, but because I've never participated in one of his challenges before, and the last one I thought was really cool, it, if it was the last one anyway, um, it was his terraforming challenge. I thought that was really, really cool. There were some amazing concepts in there, um, but I didn't get to participate in that one. So um, just to kind of stay on theme here for him, I'm going to also use his little uh, terraforming robot as well. So that's what I've got at the moment. So right now I need to kind of come up with um, an idea as to how I want to set this up. But I think the story behind this one is going to be that the terraforming robot is somehow attacking Earth and uh, the flying saucers for whatever reason are coming to the rescue. So uh, let me do a little work on that and I'll be right back.
I wasn't really sure how the car was going to fit into my image, but after playing with some ideas, I decided I was going to use it as some extra legs for the robot. I also decided later on that I wanted to use it as part of a flying saucer. Probably not the most original idea, but what else are you going to do with a car in space? I always get asked, what is that nebula image you're using right there? It's a fractal image I created with a program called Apophysis a long, long time ago. You can actually get similar results right inside Photoshop now. You may also have noticed a little time jump just now in the video. I was still working out some recording issues after building a new PC. My previous PC was built back in 2008 and I only upgraded the GPU once since then. And well, Everything died, so here we are with a lot less money now and still having to work out bugs. Okay, so there's another little time jump. I've changed the orientation of the planet a bit and started to add an explosion under the beam that's coming from the robot, but I'll add more to that later. For now, we're working on turning a Porsche into a UFO. A little blending, color correction, some highlights and shadows, and here we are, the new Porsche UFO.
We're finishing up the explosion, adding a shadow under our robot, throwing in some of the final details, some post-processing work, and it's almost time for the final reveal. I wanted this piece to have a darker feel to it, but still wanted the lights to, to pop. Hopefully I pulled that off, and hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making all of this. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you've made it this far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing.